Happy Wednesday. Moses came down from Mount Sinai. As he came down from the mountain with the two tablets of the covenant in his hand, Moses did not know that the skin of his face shone because he had been talking with God. When Aaron and all the Israelites saw Moses, the skin of his face was shining, and they were afraid to come near to him. But Moses called to them, and Aaron and all the leaders of the congregation returned to him, and Moses spoke with them. Afterward, all the Israelites came near, and he gave them in commandment all the, that the Lord had spoken with him on Mount Sinai. When Moses had finished speaking with them, he put a veil on his face. But whenever Moses went in before the Lord to speak with him, he would take the veil off until he came out. And when he came out, he told the Israelites what he had been commanded. The Israelites would see the face of Moses, that the skin of his face was shining. And Moses would put the veil on his face again until he went in to speak with him. Exodus 34. When Moses spoke with God, God's power was such that Moses' face reflected his glory even afterward. But when, Mos, but when the people of Israel saw the power of God reflected in Moses' face, they were afraid. So not unlike we do on Sundays these days at worship, when we are done speaking the word of God, we veil our faces with masks. Of course, it's not the same. We try to protect people from the power of COVID, not the power and glory of God. What's interesting, we might wonder why they are afraid of God. We certainly don't share their fear. Why are they afraid? God liberated them from slavery. But we have, but we have to remember that God liberated them, how? By sending 10 plagues to Egypt. Yes, God saved them by helping them cross the Red Sea by dry land while the Egyptian soldiers chased them. But this is the God that, yes, separated the waters to let them pass and also closed the waters back to destroy the soldiers chasing them. Maybe we can both learn a little more about God from each other. Maybe they need to remember how God loves them and saved them. And while we love and trust God through Jesus Christ, maybe we should rethink how comfortable we are with a God with so much power. Have a great week.